Namaste everyone. This is M. Srinivasu, English faculty from DAV High School, Arthur Township. At first, I heartily welcome you all for the B reading section from class 10th English of Unit 1 with the theme called Personality Development. And now we are in the B reading title called Airfield Success Story is also a story of great failures. For our convenience, let me read the lines before we get into the interaction of the title and the further lines. Failure is the highway to success. Tom Watson Sr. said, if you want to succeed, double your failure rate. If you study history, you will find that all stories of success are also stories of great failures. But the people don't see the failures. They only see one side of the picture and they say that person got lucky. He must have been yet right place at the, the right time. So we identify there is no person on the earth that is recognized as successful person has not directly jumped on to the success. He might have had a lot of experiences in the failure. Unless a person had a lesson taught by the failure, he cannot go to the success. He cannot achieve the success. This is what the, the fundamental scenario. Even we come to know a lot of things in this regard. A person has a never admired the beauty of life unless he experienced the darkness. A person who cannot smile in the happiness unless he had had some sort of a unhappiness or sad experience. So, if you want to know the value of the success, it is a fundamental phenomenon that a person needs to have failure. It is not seen in the world on the earth that a person was directly born on the earth for only success and has not been rewarded in failure in his life. In this regard, we should remember the uh, Albert Einstein quotation. A person with no experience has not been trying anything new in his life. What Albert Einstein said. It means that a person has to have some sort of an optimism to keep continue his vision of achievement. Unless it is there, a person cannot achieve his success. So it is now we have a personality trait giving an example of number of personalities in this particular concept of BAD with the title called Every Success Story is also a story of great failures. So success story means a person how did he reach to the success? We can conclude in that way. Even also story of great failures. A person's journey to success is also identifying some milestones of failures where he has been taught by the failure and then he proceeded to the success. Now let us just get into the line before I would like to tell you the entire theme of this B reading was essenced by the American philosophy. It has been identified there were some uh, you know the philosophers of America we call them as transcendentalists. So once Robert Browning was also worked as a transcendentalist in America, they will come up as one of the legendary figures in this transcendentalist. And they opined that, and they were taught to the Americans, you teach whatever you feel, whether that is right or not, is not the point of view. Let the people judge you, you judgment for it. So you express your own opinion because the uh, fundamental motto was instinct or instill in the minds of America by these philosophers of America. So then people came forward to uh, narrate their own things, they uh, express their own opinions. That is why I need to ask you or to remember one thing. Many of the inventions, you can see uh, Thomas Alva Edison even, they are all from American, American origin. So this is because of this one, you explore yourself. Don't just stagnate yourself uh, based on someone else's idea. So this is this. Now coming to this particular one, Failure is the highway to success. So it is what a updated version of getting success. Uh, for example, a person has no experience of failure, he cannot achieve the success. That's what they say. So if you keep uh, getting failed in the particular event, that means you are being taught something by the failure so that you will keep moving forward with your experience of previous. So now what they say is, if any failure come, even now, episodical also, he, he gives a definition for fail. First time attempt, 
to something like that. So in this particular also we remember, unless you have a failure experience earlier, you cannot achieve success. So if any failure that experience, believe in yourself that you are the right track to towards success. So what the philosophers see in their mind? So if you have any failure, you appreciate yourself because you are on the right track towards success. In this regard, we might remember Robert, uh, sorry, uh, Thomas Alva Edison. He had more than 1000 failures while he was inventing electrical bulb machines. So that means once the failure being experienced by him, he has been learning something. So he kept forward keeping his optimism. So that is what is very, very important that we understand in this line called, so failure is the highway to success. Coming to this particular one, man, Tom Watson Sr. Tom Watson Sr. actually, he was uh, once worked as IBM, so International Business Machines. And these people also run some editorial columns analyzing the people uh, and their business success rate is considered. So in this point, Tom, sir, Tom Watson had a lot of experience in analyzing any business, whether it was failure or success, or giving some guidelines and so on in this view of IBM. So he has given a valid point regarding failure and success. This can be counted and this can be implied in our minds whenever we are moving forward towards success. Let us see. If you want to succeed, double your failure rate. So in this point, I would like to ask you to remember uh, an athlete who is participating in the hurdle competition. I think you might all know very well. Hurdles, there will be some upright wooden uh, postures will be given. An athlete should uh, jump over this and should go to the final finishing line. So this is the competition of this uh, particular, uh, this one, what is this? Uh, we go with the particular uh, competition. So here what else? The runner should have an experience of jumping over the particular given. Uh, that if he is uh, failing in this particular, he cannot move forward and then reach the success. For example, when he is uh, trying at the first time, maybe first hurdle may fall, second time, maybe second hurdle may fall, maybe he had, sometimes when he fears all of them, last may fall, but having experience, having maintained the speed and all, he could able to do this completely in the perfect way and later he goes to find the better time of his work. So at this point what we understand, it will generally fail you to teach us to become a successful person. So that is why we have what Tom Watson Senior said. So if you want to get success, what you require is you keep going doubling your failure. So once failure, twice failure, thrice failure, no matter. Here, for example, a athlete has a 10 failures, has cleared a complete hour bars, if you feel like that. So a person with one, he cannot achieve. A person with two, he cannot achieve. So a person with more number of failures automatically will reach the highest success of his life or he can achieve definitely because the failure will teach him in the right path. So this is that what we can understand by from the words of Tom Watson Senior. Double your failure rate. That means whenever there is a failure come, never disappoint, learn from it and keep moving forward. Whenever you keep moving forward, another one again stuck. You again go for it. Remember one word there. Uh, you know, uh, failures are almost like a falling stones. So, so rolling stone gathers no mass we identify. But similar way, we'll have a cartoon of Jockey Chan in the Kushi TV, for example, if you see. Uh, some uh, stones keep rolling from the mountain. What Jockey Chan he does, he will jump on the rolling stone and he will jump on other stone and other stone, other stone, other stone, and then he keep moving on to the top of the hill. So this particular one tells, even the failures, we can convert into our basements towards success. So this we need to keep in the mind while you are looking forward. And then uh, let's just move on the next one. If you study history, history may teach us, history repeats people even talk about. Anyway, I think it's getting time, my dear friends. These uh, further lines we will see in the next video. Uh, I hope you can just read it once again uh, for better understanding and keep practice with your touch and writing and so on. And the remaining lines uh, we will meet in the next session. That time we will uh, discuss and interact. Thank you very much. And we will meet in the next.